Hello and welcome to my very first YouTube video. I'm the Guy AI and today we're going to look at three of the AI markets that are going to take the future. The market for AI is expected to exceed 5.5 trillion by the year 2027. What this means is whoever is going to control this market is going to be dominant. Generally, we can say sharing knowledge in the AI community currently is quite huge and thousands of papers are published in their respective conferences each year. But sharing of models, however, is not because, yeah, there's just no platform for this. We're going to look at three contesters that are trying to change this and are definitely going to be worth a second look. On place one, the biggest, the champion, the one to rule them all. On top of all of our minds when we combine the two words marketplace plus AI is of course AWS from Amazon. And as you might expect, AWS lets you sell your services. It doesn't matter what kind of machine learning or AI solution you got, maybe a mask detector or a car inspection software, you can sell it there. So let's have a look at this. Here we see the AWS marketplace. It is quite familiar. You got all the categories that you would probably expect from such a service. In total C currently it's quite low with uh, around 870 results, which yeah, I think this number can only go up in the future. If we specify it a bit more closely and actually go to all solutions, we'll be with 530 solutions. And you really can find pretty much everything here. I tested two of these services for you. One of the services they currently offer is quite Corona specific and here you can see it. It's a mask detector. Basically what it does is given an image here of your favorite YouTuber, it detects whether it is wearing a mask. So currently we see here 0.17% no mask and uh, generally I am wearing a mask. So basically they are right. I'm, uh, there's no chance that I'm not wearing a mask. The only issue is I'm wearing a bit of an iPad here, but uh, yeah, I don't know. The future is now. Um, it's not specific, but it's doing a good job for, you know, the actual purpose and not stupid things I come up with. The second model I really like is this vehicle damage inspection tool. So basically what you gotta do is you give it a bit of an image of your own car and it will tell you in very short time whether you got broken headlights or not. As we can clearly see here, we got no uh, headlight. We got some headlights, but we actually don't have any windshields, which yeah, this uh, model here correctly detects with a 99% probability, which is yeah, pretty much solid, right? Um, I, I don't honestly know how useful this will be in practice, but if you're like uh, working in a car repair, uh, repairment or a car insurance company, such a tool can of course help you save massive amounts of time. On place two, I can subscribe button. On the real place two, Genesis AI. So I don't usually recommend startups and I'm actually, it's kind of too early to say whether this startup is going to make it or not. Let's face it, most of them fail, but anyway, I think they help us accelerating history and really bring us forward and this is definitely one to look at. I think their pitch is pretty solid and their team really makes up for the rest. So generally they got everything you could wish for, they got Harvard people, they got some Google and Bridgewater people. I don't know, their advisory board even looks better, uh, some former deans of the MIT in engineering so all in all i really feel they could probably understand ai and know what developers want for the future but also have a little bit of a view on the financial side which is not to be ignored artificial intelligence is growing rapidly this revolutionary technology is becoming a part of every aspect of the internet and the global economy from investing and trading to social media now yeah they're quite right i mean uh, ai is going to be pretty huge. Some sources even say it's gonna make more millionaires than any other technologies. I don't know right now, but yeah, I got a strong pitch. Tens of billions of dollars into AI, but issues plaguing the AI industry are plentiful. For years, AI tools have been developed and operated in silos, created within a single... Yeah, that's one of the huge problems right now. Uh, a lot of, of data is like collected at all the companies, but they don't really share it. This has to do with a lot of different things. One is definitely uh, data safety, security. Another one is also like it's hard to monetize. And uh, yeah, a lot of companies don't really see the value of putting their data out there for everyone to use. Yeah. 
company or for a single purpose, without any means of exchanging data with each other or learning from other developers. This has made it impossible to create synergistic AI applications. Furthermore, developers have had no way to monetize the technology that they have developed. Introducing Genesis AI. This is one of these things that make me really hyped about AI marketplaces. Combinations of AIs could be huge. I mean, imagine like stock trading based on YouTube sentiment analysis or things like that. You know, there, there are quite some solutions that would, could be really cool if uh, several companies would span together that normally maybe wouldn't make too much sense. With the Genesis AI protocol, we envision a completely different world. The Genesis AI protocol allows anybody to upload an AI service to the Genesis AI network and be compensated fairly. Under this system, AI becomes a globally accessible resource. Anyone can utilize its technological benefits or become an agent in its development. Genesis AI's existing AI applications help investors and traders to find in only the future would tell, but I think they, they got a great thing they're working on here and it would be really lovely if everyone could, could use AI and start to understand it. And yeah, this would really, after all, the more, more data, the more different minds are involved, the better. Investment opportunities and save time doing investment research. Genesis AI maximizes the functionality and accuracy rate of AI models through cross-provider transfer learning, enabling multiple AI applications to exchange data and trade services. And Genesis AI enables millions of people to use AI models without knowing any computer science. Genesis AI. We really have to wait. I mean, in 10 years, we'll see how great they are, but I like their pitch, I like, like their technology, and I really like where they are, they are going. On place free. What happens if you combine the two buzzwords of the century? AI plus blockchain then you get singularity net. So while I guess they can also be technically be called a startup, they're a bit further down the line. And what really excites me about them is uh, their leader, Dr. Ben Gertzel. So pretty much the guy that you know from all the singularity videos, he, he's on it. So I don't know, his career has been dedicated to general artificial intelligence like no other. So I don't know, I just like, it. let's face it, I just like it. in their own words. The Singularity Net platform brings blockchain and AI together to create a new AI fabric that delivers superior practical AI functionality today while moving towards the fulfillment of singularitarian artificial general intelligence visions. White paper Singularity Net. So honestly, I really get what they're trying to achieve. I love the founder, I am a huge fan, but you know. A voice in my head is whispering, why, why, why blockchain? Why not just a central solution? And, and I think this is a bit, it's a point they're not really answering. Enough for developers to engage themselves into a blockchain solution. I mean, after all, especially currently, this, this involves a bit more work than just going to, you know, AWS and uh, yeah, including it into your software stack. Let's have a look. Futuristic greatest age of progress and exploration in the history of artificial intelligence. We can put together many pieces of smart AI technology into super systems, increasing complexity and stability. It provides a framework for safety. This is one about things. I mean, like, yeah, robots are lovely and uh, everything, but it's hard to, to really see what the connection to AI marketplace is and transparency cool. in awesome. artificial intelligence while providing privacy for people's personal data. Right now, there's no platform anywhere in the world that is specifically designed to make it easy for different AIs to communicate with each other, to share data with each other, to make requests of each other, to compensate each other for their work, to rate each other as to how well they did different things. Sophia is a good platform for bringing together the technologies of artificial intelligence. Using Singularity Net as a kind of networking protocol. You know what we could try next? The AI code is there, free and open source on the internet right now. It's just hard to find and, and, and hard to use. 
So singularity that can complete that connection between AI developers and, and AI. I really think there it's a lot of marketing, especially considering that this video is a bit older. Yeah, the code is there. Yeah, the resources are there. But I don't know. It's 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 so it's maybe a bit more than just. If we achieve singularity net, the way that we have portrayed it, the way that we have envisioned it, the way that we've engineered it, it will become the single most valuable technology in all of history. This is the chance for us to change the world together. We need participants. We need you, your time, your mind, to make this happen. Work with us to realize the beauty and power of singularity. Yeah, this is what makes me so excited about all of these technologies, right? They, they could really like uh, start to really create a necessity for AI around the world. I mean, if you think back about uh, how it was with the App Store, like at the beginning there was an explosion in, in so many things, the same with the blockchain industry in general, just so much new money and ideas and uh, yeah, you know, just this, this, this mentality to get things done. And yeah, I really hope this will start as well when, when these things hit the market and are really accepted. I mean, I don't know, not just talking about similarity, not, I really don't know which of the solutions will make it. I, I yeah, only future will tell, right? This is Singularity Net. We can here see their AI marketplace. They currently are operating and have around 36, uh, 46 services. So I tried a couple of these and they generally work. It takes currently a bit long to load. I'm not entirely sure if this is connected to the blockchain or uh, they're actually not hosting it right now. It's somewhat hard to say, but yeah. For example, I tried the Minecraftization service. It sadly didn't work, which yeah, I don't know. But then again, the Deoldify Photo one, uh, which you're currently seeing on screen, looks quite great. I tried it with an old uh, photo of Nikola Tesla, not a copycat boy. And yeah, the result is amazing. I have seen this model somewhere else, but it's cool that you can just, you know, pay now. Uh, what is it? I think, um, yeah, 0.02 AGI tokens, which is like a hundredth of a cent for not even, and it's pretty cheap to just get this going. Sharing is caring. And I gotta say the current trend of retraining the same AI is just becoming a bit too inefficient. And also a lot of companies really can't afford to train these things anymore. If we think about GPT-3, that really made a lot of news. This thing costs at least 100,000 right now to train. I mean, and that assumes you already really know everything perfectly and don't have to restart it. Yeah, and this brings us a bit to why AI markets are just a necessity. I am almost certain that they will be a thing in the next, in the coming year. I can't tell you which one is going to make the race. It depends on so many things and especially the big players and how they are going to position themselves. Are they not going to keep their solutions to themselves or to their respective cloud environments? Or are they going to come together and build like one platform? Yeah, only time will tell. And please let us know in the comments which of the three solutions you think will make the race. Will it be AWS, Genesis AI or Singularity Net? So this was it with me for the week. I hope you enjoyed it and please like and subscribe. This would help me and the YouTube algorithm out so much. And after all, we're all just here to serve the big and mighty YouTube algorithm. So yeah, keep tuned in. Until next week.